to Tracy's Top Toys. Well, this video is one of an occasional series of help for you uh, when you're in Florida. So today we're going to be looking at giving you a bit of a hand with renting and driving your car for the first time in America. So my first tip is make sure that you pay for everything via a website um, when you're back at home. Don't try and do it here. And that includes all the different insurances. And there's a lot of insurances and extra bits and pieces. And you will get bamboozled with it all at the airport. So book it all your end. And you want towards the top end of the insurance, you want to be able to return the car uh, empty of fuel. So it includes a tank of fuel. Um, you want it to have at least two drivers probably. It's that sort of gold package it's often call, called. So when you collect the car you will need your driving licence and some sort of uh, app receipt or paper receipt to show you've paid. Uh, that doesn't take too long. So one of the first things you will have to buy this end is to cover all the tolls in Florida. They don't now have cash options at most of them so you have to have prepayment. Different hire car companies have different ways. Some charge you what cost of the toll plus an admin fee. Others like Dollar will charge you about $110, $120 for two weeks, irrespective of how many tolls you use. That then means you can just drive in the outside lane of the motorway, only slow down a bit, and the thing just records it by your number plate. You don't have to keep finding change. And like I say, a lot of the roads out here now don't have a cash option anyway. That one you can't prepay, you will have to book this end. It's similar to if you need child seats and whatever. But do watch out, have a look and see if you can compare it. This can vary from one to $200. It's quite a good revenue stream now for the hire car companies in the same way as sat navs. They deliberately order cars that don't have sat navs. So they would definitely try and rent you a sat nav for an extortionate price and you do need one. You can't really use your phone unless you've got a data deal out here, that's going to cost a lot of money. So either bring a sat nav with you that you've loaded the American maps onto or get into Walmart, buy one for about $60 and I think you'll find they've got a 14 day return policy if you're not happy with it or you're able to sell it in the UK probably for about what you bought it for here. Either way it's a fraction of the price of renting a sat nav, it'll save you so much time over here you won't get lost and you won't have arguments in the car over who got it wrong with the map. Okay so you've bought all your different insurances and you're now collecting your car you will find that they won't give you a specific car generally there'll be a row of cars for the type of car you've chosen so you know you've just got to choose it don't choose it by colour try and choose as new a car as you can so have a look at the tyres do the tyres look lots of trade are they new um, the keys to each of the cars will just be on the dashboard turn it on have a look at the mileometer this is quite a new car this had only done 4,000 miles when we picked up and it's got lots of extra safety features built in that you'd expect on the modern car so that's a great thing to do we have a dodge caravan which is a very very basic car and very very thirsty i think it's got a three and a half litre engine this one is a chrysler pacifica and it's much better on fuel so i only had to fill this one up a couple of times i spent a lot of money on some of these other cars you can be expecting to get 16 17 miles to gallon and if you're really hitting that aircon as well it will drop below that so choosing a modern car with better miles per gallon will be a big saving on your holiday just like making sure that you get the right deal on the tolls so yes this time i've chosen a new chrysler and it comes with a keyless entry so you just have this with you all the time and uh, you don't have to put a key in the ignition it also has quite an unusual thing in that that is how you change the automatic gearbox all american cars are automatic um, they don't have handbrakes as such some of the older models will have a foot emergency brake pedal but the newer cars it's just a button to put the handbrake on they're all petrol as well there are no diesel cars over here so even though you may have a really big massive jeep or something it's going to be petrol. Remember, when you're filling up with petrol, you've really got to prepay. So go into the station, tell them what pump you're at, give them, say, $20, say, I want $20 on pump number six, and then when you get to pump number six, it will let you put in $20. Don't faff around with credit cards. I've been double billed and all sorts of things, so that doesn't work very, very well at all. So the newer cars have a lot of the extra functions you expect, the ability to connect your phone. This one, you've got uh, heated seats, heated steering wheels, which actually in the off season is quite useful. There's a number of uh, apps and things, climate, there's a lot of climate control here with different options for the front and the back. 
media is quite good again you should be able to connect your phone you'll be able to do it via the lead i'm using the usb lead there to connect in my own sat nav which i say is quite a big saving and uh, you've got radio and although you would expect a car like this to have the sat nav built in it's been deliberately ordered not to have that to make it easier for them to try and flog you a sat nav which is quite clever really as a way to bump up the price when you're choosing your car try and make sure you choose one that has a reversing camera these are much bigger cars than you're probably used to in the UK and it makes life that a little bit easier. One of the things that tends to fox me when I first arrive is uh, with the minivan or MPV as we call them, it'll be probably set up as a six seater and uh, you won't have any luggage space. So it looks a bit daunting, but actually you find on all the different manufacturers, there's basically three tags. So the first tag, will just drop down the headrest. You then pull tag one, and tag two and that order and then you'll find the whole of the seat will just fold down out of the way so you can get all your big suitcases in. So there you are, you can see you've got plenty of room now. So all the cars are petrol out here, petrol is much cheaper than here, around two pounds something a gallon and um, that's an American gallon, it's a bit smaller but remember it is petrol and when you get to the petrol station there's generally three types of petrol and for this sort of car the cheapest one is fine remember to prepay so i hope you found those tips useful it's not too difficult once you get into it to try and do as much of it as you can before you arrive at the airport you've had a long flight you're tired uh, and you've still got a bit of a drive ahead of you so the last thing you want to do is spend ages trying to buy insurance as you do need or breakdown cover you don't need all these cars come with standard breakdown they'll try and sell you another one which is extra breakdown cover if you have to lock your keys into your car. That's near on impossible with new cars, so you won't need that one either. So if you have any other questions, please put me a little message below and I'll try and answer it for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and I hope you enjoy all the other videos on Tracy's Top Toys.